Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is an important recruitment notification from HPCL Rajasthan Refinery Limited. Okay, so to view this notification, you have to use this URL hrrl.in slash capital H RRL slash current hyphen openings dot JSP. So if you go into this URL, here you can observe current openings advertisement number HRRL slash RECT slash 01 slash 2025. So here you can observe recruitment of engineering professionals in S by G, E2, E3 and E5 and diploma holder and science graduate in S by G, E0. So detailed advertisement is there. Resume upload format. See for this notification you have to upload a resume. So that format is also given. I will show you that format also. Then click here to apply is there. So first of all let me show you what will be there in the registration form. When you click here to apply. So when you click here to apply here you can observe HPCL Rajasthan Refinery Limited recruitment of position number one junior executive chemical E0. So this is diploma level dear students. Then recruitment of position number three engineer electrical E2. Then senior engineer process refinery E3. Then senior engineer process refinery E5 like this there are number of posts. For each post there is a separate option to apply. Okay, suppose you are applying for engineer hyphen electrical hyphen E2 position. Click here to apply. So here he has given please keep the soft copies of the required documents. So that pop up has come. Now here you can observe position number 3 ele engineer electrical E2 closes on 8th February 2025. The last date to apply is 8th February 2025. So don't go till the last date dear students try to apply as early as possible. Now here you can see preferred center for written test. There is a written test here he has given the number of centers here. So a drop down menu is there you can click on the center name of your preference then name in full. So first name, middle name, surname, father name or spouse name he has asked mailing address. So main communication address. So address, pin code, city, district, state, homes, town, city, home, state, PAN number, PAN number mandatory he has asked, type of ID proof. So what is the ID proof you are selecting? So ID proof related information number you have to give there. Then phone number with STD, mobile number 10 digit without leading 0 or country code. So 0 or plus 91. So you shouldn't put that directly give the 10 digit mobile number. Then email ID confirm email ID. So then coming to the categories. So depending upon the category you have to click on this drop down menu whatever the category you belong to. So whether you are an ex serviceman. So if you are physically handicapped all that related information he has given. Then gender male female. So that option is given date of birth is given educational qualifications. So all these things you have to fill here. So then I declare that bank account details given below are correct and HRRL will not be liable in case wrong details are furnished by me. Bank account number, confirm bank account number, IFSC code, bank name, branch name, everything is given here. So work experience if it is there. So you have to give that work experience. So if you are a government employee or PSU employee, so no objection certificate should be produced at the time of interview that option is given. Then please upload correct resume as uploaded documents can't be changed later. So upload the correct resume. I will show you the resume format that was given by them. So you need to fill that and upload here. So maximum file size should be 1 ME, 1 MB upload in DOC or DOCX or PDF or zip format. So any format you can apply then please upload correct photo as photo can't be changed later. So upload the photo then you need to click on this checkbox the declaration then you can go for confirm. Okay. So confirm if you click so then it will redirect to the next page. So this is the application form dear students for each and every post a separate application form is there. So as per your eligibility criteria you take the relevant one and apply for this. Now coming to the resume format. So as I have shown you in the home page resume format 
is given here. So format only for E0, E2, E3 and E5 salary grades. Recent passport size photo with white background he is asking. So then full name, date of birth, age, gender, category. So disability related information, nationality, mobile number, hometown. So all the information is there. As per this, you have to fill all the details here, dear students, educational qualifications, professional experience. So everything you have to give here, right? So here, when you are giving your work experience, you need to put it in reverse chronological order. That means from the latest to the oldest, like that you have to fill all the details here, dear students. So kindly go through this information carefully before uploading this resume so try to be filling all the correct information don't put any kind of fake information dear students as this is having lot of scrutiny it will be very difficult for you for further applications in HPCL okay so try to remember that this is the resume format now let us see the detailed advertisement number or detailed advertisement here so Coming to the detailed advertisement, so here you can see advertisement number HRRL slash RECT slash 01 slash 2025. So try to remember this advertisement number. This is very much helpful for your future correspondence. Then positions and vacancies, junior executive chemical, 80 posts are there, E0 level. So rupees 30,000 to 120,000 is the pay scale and maximum age limit is 25 years. So try to See here the age limit also very carefully. Then you can see the next things. Engineer instrumentation, three posts are there. E2 cadder, 50,000 to 160,000. Work experience required is three years and age limit is 29 years. Engineer electrical, three vacancies are there. E2 cadder, 50,000 to 160,000 is the pay scale and three years work experience is required and 29 years of age. Then officer information systems, one post is there, E2 category. So 50,000 to 160,000, three years experience and 29 years is the age limit. Then senior engineer process refinery, 11 vacancies are there, E3 position, rupees 60,000 to 180,000. Six years of experience, 34 is the age limit. Senior manager process refinery, four, Posts are there, E5 category, 80,000 to 220,000 is the salary, 12 years work experience is required, 42 is the upper age limit. Senior manager process offset and planning. So this one, three vacancies are there, E5 category, 80,000 to 220,000 is the pay scale, 12 years work experience and 42 years is the upper age limit. Okay, so experience is also required for certain post year students kindly. Go through that carefully. Here more vacancies are there. You can observe. So senior manager, technical planning, refinery and petrochemical. So one post is there. E5 category, 80,000 to 220,000. 12 years experience, 42 is the upper age limit. So senior, pro senior manager, process safety and NCON. So one post is there. E5 category, 80,000 to 220,000. 12 years experience and 42 years age. So for the remaining posts also, Senior manager mechanical eight posts are there, instrumentation three posts are there, fire and safety two posts are there. So all are E5 category and scale is between 80,000 to 220,000 and 12 years work experience is required and 42 years is the upper age limit. Okay, so these are the total vacancies, 121 vacancies are there dear students. Now coming to the important dates. Commencement of online application 17th January 2025. So this is the starting date of online application form 17th January 2025. Last date of online application is 8th February 2025 up to 11.45 p.m. Okay, usually in most of the notification it is 11.59 but here it is up to 11.45 p.m. only. All computations of age relevant experience requirement Qualification shall be done as on 15th January 2025. Okay, so cutoff date for reckoning the eligibility criteria with respect to completion of essential education, qualification, work experience, age, etc. will be as on 15th January 2025, dear students. Okay, so coming to the eligibility. 
eligibility criteria essential educational qualification everything is given here so you can see for each and every job they have given the job description also and physical fitness efficiency criteria also okay so the first vacancy number of vacancies are 80 so this is for junior executive chemical dear students junior executive chemical so 80 vacancies are there diploma in chemical petrochemical engineering chemical engineering fertilizer chemical engineering plastic and polymer chemical engineering sugar technology refinery and petrochemical engineering chemical engineering oil technology chemical engineering polymer tech with minimum 60 percent aggregate percentage of all semesters is asked or bsc with chemistry as principal subject or honors polymer chemistry all these things physical fitness efficiency test so the advertisement positions require working in open areas climbing tall structures columns and tanks by stairs and monkey ladders so quick response to unit emergencies or process upsets so related information is there for that physical fitness efficiency test criteria is given then key job responsibilities are also given for each and every position dear students so kindly go through this notifications for electrical engineering what is the minimum work experience required okay already i have shown you in the first table what is the experience required so job description is also given so for each and every post job description is given kindly go through the job description so and based on that if you are eligible you can apply for these positions now let me quickly scroll down So complete details of job description, everything, experience, everything was mentioned clearly, dear students. Whoever are eligible, they only should apply. Okay. Right. So coming to the salary pay scale. Here you can observe E0 grade 30,000 to 1,20,000. Junior executive is the designation. Approximate CTC is 8.29 lakhs. Then E2 cadre 50,000 to 160,000 engineer or officer CTC is 13.66 lakhs. E3 60,000 to 180,000 senior engineer 16.70 lakhs. E5 80,000 to 220,000 senior manager 22.6 lakhs. So this is the pay scale and eligibility criteria. Everything we have seen here dear students. So then coming to the probation, the selected officers will be on probation for one year from the date of joining. So one year probation period will be there from the date of joining. Upon successful completion of the probation period, the officer will be considered for confirmation as per the company policy. An amount of 3000 per month will be earmarked as retention amount for E0 and an amount of 5000 per month will be earmarked as retention amount for E2 from the total emoluments during probation period, extended probation period. So the placement and positioning, posting assignment can be in any division department of HRRL at any place in the country and the services thereafter will be transferable as per the requirement. So these positions involve working in shift duties including night shifts. So that is what he has given here. Coming to the shortlisting and selection methodology, so for positions, junior executive chemical E0 category, the multiple stage selection process will comprise of computer based test. So there is a computer based test, skill test and personal interview. Okay, computer based test, objective questions with no negative marking he has given. So two parts will be there, aptitude will be there, then technical and professional knowledge containing questions related to qualifying degree or educational background. So that is what is given for junior executive chemical position cbt computer based test the information okay so how many percentage of marks are required 40 percent for unreserved and ews for skill test that is the elimination round so cbt 50 percent qualifying for all the categories he has given okay so kindly go through this then e2 position also there will be a computer based test with no negative marking, aptitude and technical professional knowledge is there. So after that, 
there will be group discussion elimination round and a finally personal interview three stages are there dear students okay so kindly go through this information then for positions e3 and e5 senior engineer senior manager so technical competency interview this is a elimination round and behavioral competency interview this is elimination round so usually technical round and hr round people will say so kindly go through this carefully then pre employment medical examination will be there physical fitness efficiency test like that there will be certain things so you have to qualify in that also kindly go through the information okay so as already discussed so for different categories how many number of posts are there so it was given clearly kindly go through this document very carefully before applying dear students already i have shown you where to apply how to upload the resume and what are the documents required general educational qualification documents will be required photo and signature will be required okay so kindly go through the doc document very carefully before applying dear students okay thank you all the very best